Thank you for calling Amazon. You are speaking with Jimmy, and how may I help you today? Yeah, hey Jimmy, I got an email about a uh, TV, a Sony Bravo for twenty two hundred dollars. Do you know anything about that? Okay, uh, you are saying that you did not make this purchase. I didn't make that purchase, no. Okay, sir, I do apologize for that. Uh, and tell me, how would you get to know about this purchase, sir? You said uh, it was an email, right? Yeah, it's uh, um, a message for a Sony Bravo, and it's an order number TCL62HG4509FG. Could you please repeat that order number, sir, again? Oh, sure. Uh, TCL62 hg four five zero nine fg I think that's right. I don't have my glasses. Okay, and uh, no problem. So just give me one quick moment for your verification. Uh, can I have your phone number? Uh, my phone number is uh, three one nine four eight 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 zero five. I said, uh, I think uh, you said at 319-488-8835. No, 8805. I don't know where you got three from. Oh. It's only 88805, right? Uh, I'll say it to you again. I don't know what's wrong with you. 319-488-8805. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for giving me this information. Just give me one quick moment. I can barely hear you. Can you speak up, please? Yes, sir. Sorry. Mm, yes, sir. Now I got the information about this order that he was talking about. As for the details, but I'm looking here for this item name. It's showing me that it's a Sony Bravia TV. And as for the name, as for the price on that item it's showing me that it's two thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars and eighty one cents yeah it could be that i don't have but my glasses is, on yeah there is one more thing that that is uh, coming up from this order it's showing me that that one thousand three hundred and seventy six dollars that is already paid by using your line of a credit in this account well that's not so me you're saying that you did you, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about here. If you are saying you did not make this purchase, do you have any idea about this payment and who paid this charge? Can you put the phone close to your mouth? I can barely hear you. You're like so distant. So I said that do you have any idea about this payment? Then who paid this money under your account? Oh, no idea. That's not me. So in that case, sir, we don't have any other option. If this activity is considered as a fraudulent activity on your account, we have to put a stop or block on this account immediately. That, You'll uh, block it. It's not mine. I don't care. It. It's not your Amazon account? No. Okay. No problem. So in order to put a block on this account, first of all, I'm going to give you a security code on your text messages. Uh, that means you will gonna receive a text from Amazon with a six-digit code. Once you receive that code, sir, just let me know. Okay? I just tell me over the phone. I can barely read that. I don't have my glasses. I told you that already. Okay. What you say? Just tell me. Tell me the code over the phone. I could barely read the phone anyway. I don't have my glasses. What's the code? I, I can't understand you, sir. Your voice is breaking up too much. Could you please speak some more louder? Okay, I said I do not have my glasses. Just tell me the code. It's hard to read the phone. Oh. So you can... Uh, then how are you going to verify me that code? Do you have any somebody in here? Do I have someone what? Do you have somebody with you? No, I'm by myself. So he can help you. Know. Mm -hmm. So what's the code? I've got a uh, piece of paper here. Sir, that code is a system-generated code that we are sending to the legit owner of this account. If you are receiving the code, that means we need to verify this code from you. 
Okay, well, you could try, but I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to read it. Yeah, can you verify me your email address? I, I don't know why you no. need all this information. You, you said that it's a fraudulent thing. Just cancel it. I, I don't want to give all this information. Because, so because it's a fraudulent activities. There are some other person who is trying to steal your information. In the same way as you are calling me, they can also call us and they can pretend to be you. Right? Well, that, that's that's fine. Like, you've got my caller ID there, I'm sure. Like, it's not me doing this transaction, so just cancel it. I, no, if no, I no. was trying to be dishonest, I wouldn't be trying to make the transaction go through. I'd be telling you to stop it, wouldn't I? That makes sense, right? But, sir, the thing is that, sir, there are some security guidelines and some protocols in which we have to work. You're fading away again. Can you speak them? closely to the phone, please? Mm -hmm. So right now there is more than 200 advisor who is working with the customers. That's why you are not getting my voice properly. But I'm like giving my best to make you things understand and clear. If you can verify me your email address so I can give you uh, the security code. Can you help me with that? Uh, okay. Are you ready? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I've got it written down here. My son set it up for me. Uh, David Jones, Zerif57 at hotmail.com. No, your voice is breaking, sir. Could you please spell that for me? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with your phone, then. David, D-A-V-I-D. Then a little line, Jones557 at hotmail.com. James557 at hotmail.com. That's right. Okay, David, a line, James557. Jones, five, did you seven. say James? I can barely hear you. Can you speak up, please? Sorry. James, J A M E S. Do you right. have a, a hearing disability? Jones, J O N E S. Oh, David, Jones. and then a line, or hyphen, underscore, whatever you call it. I don't know, the little underline thing. Jones, J O N E S, 557 at hotmail.com. Okay. Now it's giving me the unexpected error, so I believe there must be something wrong in this email. I, I believe you said that it's D I V I D. No, uh, can't you spell David? D A V I D. David. Don't you know how to spell David? Then there's a little oh. underscore line, like under underline thing. Mm -hmm. Have you got that so far? Then. Yeah, D A V I D yeah. underscore J O N E S yeah. 557 at hotmail.com. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with your phone. It's like really quiet and you, you can't seem to hear me. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it can be a system problem, so. Well, it sounds like you're just talking really quietly. You're far away from the phone. I don't know what's wrong with it. Mm. No, but uh, your email is not registered with any Amazon, sir. It's giving me the error. Well, that, that's fine. I don't even have Amazon. I, I'm giving you my email because you asked for it. No, but it's not matching with the details. Well, that, that's fine then. That's It's not my account then, so that's okay then. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank you. We're okay. We're going to delete this account. Yeah, that's what I wanted Thank in the first so place. I don't know why you had to keep trying, like trying to get my details off me. No, no, no. That's not time. Thank you so much for calling. Have a nice day. Okay. What an idiot.
You said something? Oh, you're still there. I was about to hang the phone up. I said you're you're an idiot because you you're trying to get details off me when it's not even my account. I don't know what's wrong with you. No, so that's fine. You can disconnect the call. Well, you can disconnect the line. I, I'm tired of you. I'm just putting this phone down, and you do whatever you want to do. Bye. I'm not allowed for that, sir. You have to disconnect this call by. Well, you can you can leave it on the line all day. I don't care, man. I can't be bothered pressing a hang up button because you're a complete moron. Just your your line's yeah. terrible. You barely hear you, and you you're just an incompetent fool. No, sir, that's, that's no issue. Right now, there's, there is no information that is... No, that, that is an issue. Right. That is an issue, because you're an idiot. You, you, no, you're just totally incompetent. Are you, are you even a real call center person? You just seem like some sort of idiot calling me. What is wrong with you? Sir, I believe you are the one who is calling me. So are you an idiot? You are wasting my time by hanging up the line. Leave it. Put it down. You can stay on the line all day. I don't care. Yeah. Bye. I, I'm waiting you. To, I'm waiting you to disconnect the call, sir. Hello. David. Hey, idiot. Can you hear me, idiot? <laughs> hey, idiot. Hey, stupid. Hey, can you hear me? Idiot. 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 Hey. Hello. Can you hear me?